So I went to see Doctor Strange last night, and I think the best part of the movie was probably this bit, when he was attacked by a midget, and he's all like, no bother, it's just a midget, but then the midget starts to magically grow, and he's all like, oh shit, it's no longer a midget. Just kidding, that obviously didn't happen. This isn't the 70s anymore, and things are much more PC. They would call it a little person. But I genuinely enjoyed this movie. For a channel named after a DC character, I find it really frustrating that most of my positive reviews are for Marvel films. Perhaps I should discuss The Dark Knight at some point. But for now, let's get back to Doctor Strange. The story follows Stephen Strange, one of the world's best surgeons. After a horrible car accident wrecks his hands, he travels the world searching for a way to fix them. Instead, he finds a whole new world of mysticism and magic. And there's not really that much to dislike about this movie. I think the cast were all great. Bendy Dick Cabbage Patch is, as always, fantastic. And you can really see that arrogance that he kneeled with Sherlock coming through in this performance. Tilda Swinton and Chiwetel Ejiofor and Rachel McAdams were all real good too. Strange is a very different hero to anyone we've seen in the MCU so far. Except Scarlet Witch, sort of. I guess he's a bit like her. She does magic, right? Sometimes. Sometimes she's real spooky and gets in your head, and then sometimes she forgets that she can do that for a whole movie. Doctor Strange doesn't do that, but he does do magic. And that's pretty good. By far though, the best part of this movie were the special effects. I hoped that it would look great, but I suspected that we had seen most of it in the trailers. After all, this is the first time we're seeing this character on the big screen, and therefore it could be a risk. It would be understandable if they didn't want to dump a whole pile of money into this, but thankfully that's not a problem, because the budget seems like it was huge. The magic looks amazing, and there was a lot more of it than what we saw in the trailers. I'm assuming that magic, mysticism, and Doctor Strange himself will have a big part to play in the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And so, the good folks behind the scenes gave this film all they had to ensure his introduction was a great one. I think, and this may be pretty controversial, that the magic in this film is portrayed better than any of the Harry Potter films ever managed to do. I like Harry Potter and I'm not saying it's bad, at least I'm not saying they're all bad, but the magic in this film was just more fun and wondrous in my opinion. A lot of the scenes occur throughout alternative dimensions, crazy portals, and the streets of New York. These sequences are impressive feats in filmmaking, and if I were tasked with creating something similar, I wouldn't know where to begin. I like seeing practical effects, but when a film like this comes along, it's really hard to dispute the benefits of CGI. It all just looks so crazy and awesome. I imagine this film would be great to watch whenever, but definitely try and see it in the cinema. It's a very cinematic film. The director, Scott Derrickson, has done a great job. I think it's nice to see a new origin story on the big screen. We've seen Batman, Spider-Man and Superman several times, and even Captain America's origin was already pretty well known. So anytime we see a straight up origin story, it can be fascinating. This is no exception to that. It's also a very self-contained story, meaning that you don't need to have seen any of the other Marvel films to appreciate this one. I don't mind this, but it makes me very excited for when we do get to see him interacting with the other Marvel heroes. By the way, the mid credit sequence is when you'll find out when that will be. As I mentioned, I think he will have a big part to play in the further films, and so far, I see no reason why he shouldn't. So what did you think of the movie? Please leave your comments below, because I genuinely want to know if everyone else enjoyed this film as much as I did. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked this review, please subscribe for more geeky good stuff just like this.